Hello and welcome to The Treasured Page. I'm Melanie and this is our quiet crafting space. Today we're having a look at the coffee pot challenge and I am going to be pulling out three cards from the coffee pot tin. They're prompt cards which will give us an idea of what to make using those three items or supplies. And if you'd like to join along, it's a craft along, you need to settle in, you need to get a nice hot cup of coffee or a cold coffee or not even a coffee, but just certainly settle in and come and join in. So I'm going to open up the tip. Actually, let's give it a shake. I'm going to pull three cards out and um, we may get things that we've already had. I'm going to try and get one right down from the bottom here. Okay, that one and um, see what else we've got so if you'd like to have a look at my other uh, coffee pot challenges you can go to my playlist in on YouTube and find the challenge playlist okay right those are the three things no idea I'm gonna turn them over now okay so we've got an eyelet or a grommet so an eyelet uh, that's uh, top of a tag so that's giving me some direction there a skeleton leaf oh my goodness okay and um, oh brilliant okay a wild card right let me explain so if you're not familiar with what a wild card is um, I've thrown a few of these in now if I pull out a wild card it means that I can go wild and choose any supply that I want so that's excellent that means you could do the same so you can choose any supply that you want but it must also involve these two one. things now not everyone's got a skeleton leaf um, and by that I mean a skeleton leaf but you could use an actual leaf you could use um, a sticker of a leaf an image of a leaf you could print a leaf if you've got a leaf stamp and then cut that out a leaf okay we're dealing with leaves and eyelets and then we've got to choose one other thing so I'm not going to commit to that other thing just yet because I'm going to have to think of what I can do. So you can use cardstock, you can use book page, you can use anything. There are no rules. You've just got to incorporate the three things from the coffee pot challenge into your end result. So uh, for eyelets, I'm going to need my punch. Um, I don't have to do a tag, do I? Let me think. What else? So a skeleton leaf. Well, I do have skeleton leaves, so I might as well try and find them. There we go. Okay, so these are my skeleton leaves. So I'm going to be using one of these um, and, um, and an eyelet. Okay, let me think. I'm coming, coming up with something here. Skeleton leaf and eyelet. Well, the eyelet will be done last, so that's okay. So the skeleton leaf is fairly big but if you have another leaf maybe if you have a die cut of a leaf that could work that could work couldn't it here I've used a skeleton leaf and done a little cluster so I could do that but this is an eyelet so it feels like it needs to be more of a tag okay so in which case I want to think about pulling out some scraps a bit of old paper here I've got a little pack of scrap. Oh, I've got that. I quite like that. So because it's a leaf, I'm feeling more rustic. Maybe woodlandy. Maybe woodlandy. Maybe book page. Yeah. Some vintage bits here. What's that? Cookery. Nothing leaf like there. Maybe not book page. Got that now as well. Um, maybe oh, I've got this envelope. Could alter an envelope with a leaf. But that's not really going to help me with the eyelet, is it? Right. Okay. 
what else have I got? Lurking. Oh, hang on. What's this? Oh, that's a bit better. How about that? Okay, that feels more, more somewhere where I want to go. All right, so here we go. So this is Coffee Pop Challenge. So I hope that you might um, consider joining in and just gather some things that uh, you're you're surrounded by and just see what you can make using the three items we could go very simple with it and make a tag because it's the eyelet so that would be an obvious choice um, uh, so I might do that or we might just have a little twist but who knows I have no idea let's see what happens let's just have a play so I'm wanting to overlap the whole thing. Oh, that would be better if I... Did that. Very sticky. I don't want a straight edge. I don't think I want a straight edge today. So I'm going to tear it. Keep that. And I'm going to do, I'm going to go narrow. Oopsie, more of a bookmark. How about a bookmark? Yes, I think so. Maybe. That's the mood at the moment, is a bookmark. So I want as much length. As possible. Okay. Nice and thin as well. And then I'm going to ink. Yes, with a little ink. And I think I will choose a green. Yeah. My my system here is failing where the green pads are being moved, so it was working. <laughs> it's nice to use a different um, ink, I so often just go for the brown. So I quite like the fact that I've got this colour here. This I don't know where the paper came from. Well, I do know. It came through the post. And um, it was sort of like a file folder type uh, thing. And I've been using it. So that's been quite nice. Uh, but I haven't used it for a while. And then I just saw that little bit there at the bottom of the pile. So far, so good. So with this, you really want to use up scraps as well. Those are definitely something that you can build in to the design. And I've got this. That's quite a nice layered look, isn't it? How about something like that? Oh, what's my wild card? Don't know at the moment. Still don't know. Straw paper, this is. Couldn't think of it. Uh, 
I don't know. So I've got that. And then I've got this as well. I don't have to have any of it. Ooh, that was nice. Sounds good ripping sound. Let's have a little play with the textures and the lines there. Quite like that. That's quite nice, isn't it? How about that? Okay, so I don't think I need it that long, did I? Do you want to add a bit of green? What was that I used? I used old old paper. Old paper. I think I might want to come back with some brown. Let's go for a darker one. This is walnut stain. Obviously, I've glued before I've inked. Don't do that. <laughs> I just can't help myself. I get all excited about the gluing and then realise, actually, I would have quite liked to have emphasised that. Uh, which way up did I have it, guys? Was it this way? Oh, no, no, I can't. Was it this way? Let's do that way. Oh, that's a bit good, isn't it? I like that. And then we just want to pull that bit off. We'll keep that. It's all sticky. What's my more wild card going to be? Wild. How we have it? It was like that, wasn't it? I like that bit now. I'm not, not sure I want to cover it. What am I doing? I don't know. Um, when you don't know, the best thing is to do a bit more because you usually haven't developed it enough. Where's the little? I have lost. A skeleton, here we are. Oh, look, and now I've got ink on my top on my bottom. Oh, it could be the bottom. That could be the bottom. Oh, it could be trees. That looks like a tree, does it? Maybe. Feeling autumny, autumnal. I think I need it to go all the way to the top. I think I need to ink it and then I can see whether I like that at all. An eyelet and a leaf and then something else. It's a bit difficult isn't it? It's quite nice to be given the thing without having to think what it's going to be. So perhaps I'm not sure I like the wild card at the moment. I think that was my top. Okay, well, I'm just sticking it down because I'm fiddling with it, but I feel that that should go on there. So I'm just going to listen to my creative self, whatever she wants to do. Okay, that. <laughs> right. Where's this leaf going then? Oh, I don't like that. So it's got to be that way up. It's very abstract, isn't it? 
rid of that top bit. Hmm. I wonder if my wild card should be a bit of fabric. What's this? Aha. Uh -huh. I like this. This is some, um, well, it was some sari silk. No, it's not going to rip. Right. Yellow tones. Or perhaps that's the top of it. Oh, I don't like this. Do you like it? I can't see this. It's a hot mess, isn't it? That's what that is. Do we like pink? Ooh, that's nice. Is that nice? Oh, I don't know. I'm too hot. I'm too hot for this. How about green? There are lots of tatty things here. Ugh, I can't be bothered. Whew. Let's have a cup of tea. Ah, oh, right. Hang on. What about... Something. Oop. <laughs> Should we go with it? What was that going to look like? if it's in there and this is just the thing oh that's better isn't it oh okay I kind of like that all right all right okay I'm going to um just put some fabric there And just, you know, glue down this sorry silk, really. See what that brings to the mix. Do I like that bit? Let me get rid of this bit. Sort of looks that's better. Oh, look at this fountain of glue here. You're right, there you go. So my, my wild card, I think was my fabric that adds texture doesn't it plenty of it Ugh, sticky right let's put that in there okay oh i didn't put my leaf on whoops whoops the leaf wants to come here now scrap Page. Oh, that's nice. Again, probably should have inked. I have no idea what I'm doing, just sort of making it up. Making it up. This is very arty, isn't it? With the little pieces, let's see if we can try and take some of that off. Not too much. Oh gosh, I don't think I can use that. <laughs> very sticky. All right, and 
that bit of there. Let's get that around the, around the right way. This was um, very thin, very fine old uh, phone directory. So I'm just doing a bit of a collage here with my scraps and uh, using this book page and just going to stick that there. I don't know what, what it is. And then something over here. Oh, that's nice. Scrap. This is off of uh, some tissue paper and stuck with other paper there. That's going to come away. Good. And I can reduce the bulk that up there. So it's strips, just scrappy strips. This is a piece of packaging paper. Oop. I feel like I should have stuck the fabric on last but you know I didn't really know what I was up to until 10 minutes ago. And even then I had no clue. <laughs> I still don't know what I'm doing. I think. Just keep going, keep going. What else? Oh, that's nice. A little bit of... What is that? Oh, okay. Maybe that's my... That might be my top. I might use that. A little bit of map. Oh, so this bit here. Bit of sewing, funny bit of sewing. Um, right, well, I haven't got a great deal of clue what I'm up to. I'm just sewing down bits from the scrap bin here. That, that was just chopped off. Can you see it's fabric and gold sewing? A hot mess, I think. I think you would, you might agree. Right. So just to recap, we've got eyelet, skeleton leaf, and the wild card, anything that you like. I am choosing fabric. So I think my skeleton leaf might go there. What do we think of this? Is this completely offbeat? Or is it grungy? I don't know. There's no style to it. It's just organic. She's pretty. But... She's not a, you know, she would be a digital kitten. We're not doing that. We're doing fabrics. It's quite bohemian, isn't it? Um, well, I think we could just leave it there, actually. Maybe I'll stick that up to the top. Something there, though. Should we put this down? Maybe we'll have that. Maybe I want a bit more to just cover that up. I'm not sure what I'm up to here, but I'm having fun. I'm relaxing and just, this could have been so many different things. So we're making a bookmark. You can make the bookmark 
any way you like. You can add leaf design to yours and you can use an eyelet and if you haven't got an eyelet you could do a hole punch and um, just put this down. Right, so I do have my skeleton leaf on there, and I think I just need to see if I can get a little bit more of this fabric. Just to, I want to just hide that top bit. So that's the bookmark with the bits hanging off. That's the back. Okay, this is where we're at so far. So I want something up there. I quite like that. And then I'm going to put the eyelet in. Maybe I want to go over with that. to lose that really. A little bit of sorry silk, a little bit of scruffy fabric. Eww. I think maybe just make sure that the leaf is stuck down because they're very delicate. So I can leave a link below for the skeleton leaves if you haven't got any in your stash. They are quite useful. They do bring a really nice delicate quality to a project and um, very organic feel. That is uh, what we've got so far. So this is a bookmark and I've got this hole punch here. And I've got this one here, and I need the bigger side. This is a crocodile, a crocodile, a We Are Memory Keepers crocodile. This is in gold colour. It's quite nice, isn't it? This is what I got for Christmas. I cannot work out what's the big or the small. Somebody gave me a very brilliant way of uh, of um, of doing this by doing stickers or something, but I wouldn't ever remember what sticker I'd put on. So this is the big hole. Yep. So we want the big the big hole there and then we can just decide where that needs to be okay cool and um, I've got what was that that's a yellowy one that that's nice and I've got this sort of brass one which is big I quite like that as well but I'm thinking I didn't quite do it in the center all right, let's have a little play. So, go in. Do you look odd? Uh, and then I was sort of toying with the idea of that. But now I don't like that. Yep. So, is it this one? It's a smaller one. Or is it this one? That's boring, isn't it? I like the big one. I've got a coppery colour. Oh, yeah, hang on. I think I like that. I think I like this one. Yes, I like that one. But I don't like the fact that I haven't got the hole in the right way. So to counteract that, I definitely need to get rid of that side bit there. Because that makes the whole thing look too wide. That's better. Go through. There we go. And, um, and then I just need to squash it with a squasher. So we just 
squash that in place. There we go. And then I can just sort of neaten up that bit around there. And then that's a bookmarky tag thing, isn't it? The only thing is, oh, what a mess. <laughs> oh my goodness, I, wow, okay. So I wasn't sure how that was gonna come together, but actually I'm quite pleased with it now. As soon as you put that in, it just instantly changes everything. So it is a tag, it's a long tag. It doesn't have much in the top. So I wonder if I can, um, you know, oh, what can I have, what can I have? Lace, more of this, no, we've done that, oh I know, what about this little off cut bit here, which matches that, there we go, there we go, that goes through there, oh yeah, that's great, except it's a bit long. And then just free this bit which I liked here. Just up in there. So that, that fluffs up there. That's that bit. And then this bit I'm just wanting to tag up there. Tag, tack. Tack it up with the fabric tack. Just glue that last bit down. And I think that is done. I might like something else there. Perhaps I could pull that over. Maybe a little word on there. Seems like that's the background and it's lacking its focal point. That's the only problem. So maybe it just wants a word, a little something. Yeah. This is from Tim Holtz, um, Ideology, Small Talk. And I've got Be Original, because I think that I have been quite original here. <laughs> and I've definitely come outside of the norm and outside of my comfort zone. I've used uh, frayed sari silk, things that I'm not always sure what to put with. I've used, um, you know, scraps and things that I otherwise would be throwing away. I'm just going to put that down there for a little bit of intrigue. And do I like that there? Or do I want it up here? Okay. And then that comes down there like that. Lots of frayed bits, lots of interesting bits. That's going to look nice in any kind of journal, creative journal. Something a bit different, a bit grunge um, in a nice creative journal or something. Well, just, you know, to have in a book because it's flat enough. It's not, it's not too, you know, it's soft, that's all. Nice textured piece there. I'm quite happy with that. And then you can write things on the back. And... Uh, you know, what more could you possibly want from a coffee pot challenge when you had no idea what you were doing and all of a sudden you've got your eyelet, you've got a skeleton leaf or a leaf shape and of the wild card was fabric on this occasion and I've gone for a skinny, skinny tag or a bookmark and if you'd like to know the measurement of that I'm saying it is six and a half inches by two and a quarter. Very tactile, very cool, very, very unique, very interesting. Be original, couldn't agree more. Stay curious. I hope you've had a wonderful time. I hope this has inspired you to have a little go and see what scraps you've got lying around. And if you would like to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the videos and that it tells YouTube that I'm worth watching, please do so. Support me and I'd be absolutely grateful. I love receiving your comments and if you would like to take part in the coffee pot challenge next week it will be coming out on Fridays okay guys so thanks very much for watching and above all else just slow down and make crafting time for you bye bye now <laughs> <laughs>